Mark, can you put into words how special this is? I'm, I'm starting to be able to because I was quite emotional at the end. Um, tried to phone my wife and couldn't really speak. Um, look, it is special because of the way it's done. Um, there's been a lot of a lot of thought and heartache gone into this game because it was a hell of a wicket in, in the batter's favour. Um, you know, we had to fight hard to get what we thought was going to be that vital batting bonus point, and then we're flogging ourselves trying to get the final bowling point, um, and you don't get it, and then you you know the draw becomes a favour, and we've got to do something special with the bat. Dom Sibley and Yates who last night are special, but then the captain comes in and. Of all his contributions this season, he probably does his most important last night to give us that real good injection. It buys us more time, it buys us more overs to bowl him out. Um, this morning goes to plan, better than plan really with Lammy and um, Yates are doing what they do. And then we've got a chance, 80 overs, you always have a chance with a new ball. And the bowlers are the class of Wokesy and Liam and Milo, etc. So, but you do it after tea on the last day of the, of the last game of the season in front of your own supporters and what was an incredible atmosphere is special. You mentioned the last session of the last day. It's quite, it's almost quite what we've got used to this year. That's actually the resilience and the, the fight that this team has. Yeah, it does. It shows you where we are. We're, you know, we I think it's four victories now all on the all after tea off the last game, um, off, on the last day. Yeah, and it does, we've, we've, we've managed to grow some resilience and we've managed to keep games alive, we've managed to stop bleeding when we've had and it's, it's so important and we've, by doing that you give yourselves a chance to win and today was no final example. And a real team effort too, because everyone's contributed not only today but throughout the campaign. Look, okay, every coach and every captain will say it's about a squad, it's about a team and different people stand up but I think somebody was telling me nobody's got 1,000 runs, nobody's got 50 wickets. So that sort of tells you we've had a lot of people contribute at different times. Um, as I say, we've found runs at different places, be it Briggsy and Myler down the order, um, through Yates in a, getting 100, or different people have had to do it at different times. And we've found ways to get scores that have been enough, never by big margin often, but just enough. And, all the bowlers have contributed at different times. I think Liam and Milo have especially grown as characters and as bowlers as the season's gone on, and we feel pleased for them. And I'm just watching a big war horse over there uh, in Tim Bresnan, who loves big moments and big games, and is a big character and such an important part of this year. Farvey's uses your line quite a lot this season. It's not if we win, it's when we win. Are you a little bit surprised it's come so soon? Well, first of all, you've got to try and win. You've got to set out to win and you plan to win. That's, that's the first thing. I mean, you know, you set that stall out. Every, you, know, you try and win a game. You try and win every game, the 50 over competition. And when you do that, you give yourself a chance. And when you try and raise the standards of practice and of what is good enough, then you, you do get a chance. And look, anybody who's been in this game a long time knows that you don't get many opportunities to win. Uh, and sometimes they present themselves without really you expecting, but when you, when you have it, you've got to grab it. Um, we've managed to be able to do that in this game. Commiserations to Lanks. I mean, they've been outstanding to have done what they did in that thriller last night, and the heart goes out to them because they're, they're well led by a great coach in, in, in Glen Chapel and a, and a good team. And, and also to Knotts with the resurgence of them and felt they would have been in a sniff and they've done what they had to do. Um, and you know, by the, by the look of God, it could have been us sat in their shoes but we the team has got over the over the line and I'm pleased everybody's connected with this club the members what an atmosphere you know it, was, it wasn't as many in for that knots game but it was similar but today it was all sticking those goose pumps in the back of my neck I love sitting outside in the field because you feel the, I feel my team what they're doing but you feel the atmosphere of the crowd and it was, it was lovely sat out there hearing and feeling everything and what does this mean to you as well on a personal level I like as motion I don't, I don't know I, I think because I've been out the county game for five years and I had a bit of time out. You think about my mum and my dad who are not with me now, what it means to them, my, my wife who's not here, my daughter who's watching in Birmingham in a flat. Um, so I get emotional even saying those words. All the people who do support you, like they do the players, the families, isn't it? And so you feel proud and pleased for them. So I've loved my time here. Um, and sometimes as any coach you have doubts about yourself, don't you? But, I'm sure I'll be having some of those next year, but for the moment we can enjoy this moment.